want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to ask a simple question. Whatever happened to conscious hip hop? First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also, comment on this video. When I was growing up, hip hop had a message. And the message was sent throughout all the community. Have knowledge of self. We had groups like Public Enemy, Leaders in the New School, Brand Nubian. Paris and so many others who sent that message out to the youth. You had young people wearing HBCU jerseys. You had us focused on moving this community forward. But all of a sudden, the plan had to be executed by those in power that we will destroy conscious hip hop because it was having such effect on the black youth so this is why you see the introduction to gangster rap now today it's called drill rap and basically they're teaching you how to murder and kill how to use drugs how to do abnormal activity that will destroy the community you don't know the power of what public enemy was saying the youth today know they know nothing about conscious rap yes they know about j cole kendrick lamar but that was it but back then conscious rap was a huge it was huge in hip-hop brothers would tell you to read message the black man carter g woodson all these other people what books to read you had the five percenters you had everybody focus on getting this community moved forward but those in power were watching us yeah like they always do and they seen that conscious rap was gaining momentum and that the youth was listening to this genre of music yes you had your fun rap you had your Will Smith, you had your MC Hammers, you had other groups, but at that time, if you weren't giving some knowledge to people in the hood, they weren't listening to you, man. Had the Jungle Brothers, you had all these groups out there giving you a message, a message not only you could listen to, but you could pass it on to your friends, you could pass it on to your mother and your father. This was the type of message. They were telling you about Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, throwing a little Dr. King. They were giving you something. They were giving you history. Brothers like Progressive Griff, Chuck D, they had a message for the community. But now, those, the elite in power, the small hats, they determined that this was too much knowledge. So all of a sudden, this disturbing gangster rap came in to where brothers were promoting drugs, guns, violence, disrespect to black women. And they surely but slowly pushed out gangster rap. And see, they can do that. They can give you who they want to. They can promote who they want to. All of a sudden, you saw the rise of Jay-Z. You saw the rise of a 50 Cent. You saw the rise of other people in which gangsterism became more popular than conscious rap. See, conscious rap was a threat to the mainstream structure that runs America. If you don't think the FBI and the CIA were keeping tabs on this music, they saw the change in the black community. They saw the change in the youth to where instead of their hands being on a gun, their fist was in the air. Instead of them looking at each other as the enemy, 
they were looking at the slave master as the true enemy. And this is what conscious rap was doing. But you went from gangster rap. You went to gangster rap, excuse me. Then you went to prosperity rap to where I got to show you all the diamonds and gold that I have. But if you look at public enemy, what don't you see on them? You don't see no gold. You don't see no chains around their neck. But you see Flavor Flay, that's his clock. And that clock was that time is ticking. But you don't see that today. You see a bunch of rappers talking about killing each other, drinking lean, smoking weed. Things that are unacceptable to our community. I can't even listen to this music. I'm stuck in the 90s because that was the true heyday of hip hop that young people unless they're historians, don't know about. They are selling our kids deaf music. And that's what they love doing. They don't want to see our youth rise up against the power structure. 30 years ago, hip hop was a masculine industry. But after they destroyed conscious hip hop, they gave you gangster hip hop. They gave you drill music. And now today, in hip hop, you got men wearing dresses, wearing heels. You wouldn't have conjured that up back in the 80s and 90s. Because brothers would have ran you out, not only the hall, but the arena. This shows you how they infiltrated hip hop. Because hip hop at that time was run truly by the black community and those in that industry. But the small hats and other people had an idea of how they needed to change rap music. They needed to get in control of rap music. And now you got this feminine side of rap music. This non-masculine side to where everybody is wearing a dress. Everybody has to prove that they're part or support the LGBTQI community. And you had back then women like Queen Latifah, you see her on the equalizer, but she was the queen because she was giving out knowledge to black women in the black community. Now hip hop, it's not even hip hop anymore. It's a destructive form of music being used to destroy the black community. Those in the music industry know what they're doing. They're still selling you trash that they would never sell to their own. You think they would sell murder, death to the, con uh, the country music community? the pop community, the only community they are willing to sell this nonsense to is the black community because it's destroying the everyday black male. If you don't think it's an agenda out here, something is wrong with you. This agenda is not only to destroy the black man, but the black community. It's been like this since the civil rights movement. And now you're damn near seeing the total destruction of the community because music is a powerful thing. Everybody listens to music. And a large majority of the black community listen to hip hop. I wanna thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button but also share this video.